airport right now I'm on and I'm actually on my first travel gig for videos which is pretty cool huh. keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat what's left of me so we're done editing and we'll be up like about 15 more minutes so I'm gonna go eat Keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hot Sometimes everything just gets hotter Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying Sometimes all you Hey guys, so I'm in the Anchorage airport right now I'm like in the lounge area Um, so yeah, like I said, it's my first um, travel gig for doing some video work and it's pretty interesting. I figured I would um, kind of take you guys along and since it's been a while, do all that kind of stuff. Um, I figured I might as well like get you guys up to date while I'm at it. Um, guess what? It's, there's, been a, there's a reason why I haven't been posting very much. If you do follow me on Instagram, you notice that I've been doing a lot of work um, with like clients and stuff like that. So I've been actually doing videos, creating videos, and these little time pieces for other people. So I haven't really had time for myself and to do my own videos. But I do want to make time again. So um, slowly but surely we'll get back to it. Um, I had some questions that I posted on Instagram and some of you guys were asking. Um, one of them was... They like ranged from everything, like to my bowel movements. Someone asked, "When was my, what was my last shit like?" Well, it was literally just two seconds ago, and the like water flew up and hit my butthole, pretty much ruined my that shit for me. Somebody else asked me, Hans actually asked how big my dick is. Actually, it's probably not as big as yours, cause uh, you know what I'm saying. And so one of the questions was, "Are you still vegan?" If you've been following me anywhere, obviously you would know. No, I'm not. Um, I just don't eat meat. I eat seafood, um, dairy, eggs every once in a while, but that's about it. No. Yeah. Also, I hate doing this in public and it's so awkward because people are constantly like looking at you. So if I am awkward because I'm not used to doing this anymore, that is why. Another person also asked me when, what kind of projects do I have lined up. Right now, I actually have a bunch of weddings. I have a bunch of other client meet what well, I have a bunch of client projects. So those range from like um, weddings to um, like promo videos and things like that. And then I also have my own like personal projects that I want to get out there, which is kind of like hard because of course I have all these client projects. And then I also started working with a couple media companies as well. Um, so that's been really, really fun. If you don't know what it's like yet, which is um, one of them I've done a little bit of work with um, and still learning what my position with them is. Another one, um, it's literally just creating content for their Instagram, um, just video content for their Instagram, so that's really exciting. Sometimes everything just gets hotter, feeling like I'm missing some parts. They just keep on getting much darker. We're on a spot where nobody actually really acts, so we can continue answering questions. So Rai's question was, what inspires you to do what you do? And if you're talking about, like, what I'm doing creatively and to just kind of like pursue video and things like that. Um, it's the fact that I love doing it and I love being able to capture these moments for people and create these visual time pieces that they really love and can look back on and um, yeah, it just makes me feel really good to be able to provide that to somebody and knowing that somebody um, values my art i never thought i'd ever be in a place where someone would value my art enough to want to pay for it you know i don't think people really understand how beautiful art is and how vulnerable and valuable art is until you actually start doing it yourself until you are the person who puts himself out there because putting them their themselves a piece of them out there for you to look and judge they are letting that part of them be judged, you know, and whether that's good or bad, they put that out there. That's so, that's such a vulnerable position to be in. And if anybody, if you know what it's like to be vulnerable, you know that's 
terrifying, it's scary, it's exhilarating, and all of that all in one. So, um, a lot of us are working those like nine to five jobs, um, thing, jobs that just aren't fulfilling. Creating video and pursuing my creative endeavors has really opened up a lot of like um, doors for me, and it's really made me happy, honestly. I'm, I'm stressed, I'm definitely stressed, but. I'm so happy, like it's, I'm, it's very fulfilling. That I am excited to do it because it's constantly changing, it's constantly evolving, and it means I'm constantly changing and I'm constantly evolving, and it's helping me be a better person. Um, it's teaching me to le learn to listen. Listen to listen, not listen to respond, and I'm very happy that I have the opportunity, I have, um, I'm able to even be able to do this kind of stuff so I hope anybody out there who wants to pursue any creative pursuits in your life just go for it like it's a 50-50 chance so and in, in the end if it does work it works great if it doesn't work then you know that's something you learned and that's basically the goal and goal for all of this is I don't want to have this empire that I have built to be able to bring people up with me and um, to share and to have this message of people wanting to create and inspire and enlighten each other to just to live a better life you know um, and I think that's basically the main goal of all of this is just to constantly create to constantly inspire and constantly teach people teach myself and constantly learn you know kind of gotten into this trap of and, um, trying to perfect everything because I have all these client projects and things like that and I want it to be perfect because it's for somebody else um, and so I've become even more of a perfectionist even in my own work and it's kind of deterred me away from actually doing um, my own work and posting on YouTube and things like that um, so I'm kind of going back to adopting that saying I used to do before done is better than perfect so if you want to see nicer stuff look at my client stuff if you just want to see me raw and real, come to my channel. That's where we're going to do it. That's where it's going to happen. I'm not going to I'm not gonna overthink it anymore. I'm just going to do it. Just be me because that's what this was originally about. Just being me to learn. Just to document. But yeah, but yeah let's, let's go meet the crew. I don't know if I'm going to show you them because maybe they'll be weird of me vlogging. I, seriously, I get weird vlogging. So they're in the lounge. So we're gonna go into the lounge. It's been a very, very, very long time since I've been in a lounge. So this is gonna be really cool. I'm gonna be meeting meeting Kate and Kelsey for the first time. So we'll see. She's our lead video. degrees 10 degrees or something like that outside um, and yeah so I will show you guys a little bit of the town there's like not much here it's very exciting the ocean 